Welcome to Summit Salon Minute presented by Summit Salon Business Center. I am Victoria Perry, Spa Specialist Consultant for SSBC, and I'm so excited to bring to you a topic that we often find ourselves living in during a slower season. How to keep our spa team busy and not be reactive to downtime, um, but mostly proactive to downtime. You know, we're going into a really heavy season of guest traffic and excitement with holiday season coming up soon. You know, just only a few short months away, but there's a lot of planning process that happens during our slow times to help build momentum for this busy season. So let's think of great ways that we can be proactive on downtime with our spa therapist. So one of the key areas to growing a successful holiday promotion is education. I firmly believe that we need to really plan out those promotional planners um, and really highlight services and retail items that we know are going to influence a guest buying experience. So what better time to use our downtime than to have team education, either brought in from our brand support, or most importantly, having the educators within our salon and spa companies present educational opportunities with our team. I love to give you an example of how we just recently made this work for our own company. We are presenting a fall makeup trend um, for the season, and we are doing a fashion show to help highlight an organization nonprofit that we're working with. So just recently, we had our team of educators and our brand representative for our makeup line come in and present the latest fall fashion trends for makeup applications. This was a great interactive workshop with our team, and they actually got to work with each other and learn new techniques that they probably would have not necessarily learned if they didn't have that side-by-side -side interaction with each other. It was a great way to build team camaraderie, but also helped fill in a lot of downtime for the day by planning the action of having this education event. What happened as a result is we had increased makeup sales the week following this training because we've heightened the awareness of this look that we're going to be presenting to our guests. So team education is definitely one. Another great way is promotional planning. You know, what are some key factors or events that we want to focus in on to present our content to our guests? Is it a happy hour event? Is it a holiday open house? Let's think of fun, new, creative ways to tie in the holiday season. But it's always good to remember that we need to plan those events six weeks in advance. So what does that planning out look like? Well, one, secure the date. Two, find your team on board that's going to help support. Is it going to be the front desk experts? Is it gonna be your own service providers or leads on your salon and spa floor? And then we also need to think about what are the services or specials in retail that we wanna highlight. I always love looking out for conquering retail phobia and the 12 buyer types as a focus point to learning who are the buyers that we wanna present this content to for our events check out that resource and really identify the key buyer types that you find that are frequent shoppers or frequent event um, attendees that you can invite in and have promotions and specials that actually are geared towards their buying preferences. Plan the event, um, work with a local um, bakery or a deli to kind of cater in and support local, especially during our holiday season because that's so important and have a really great call to action offer. So it might look like a complimentary shampoo and style or a makeup application to tie in them going out for a future holiday event and thinking of you and your services for that. So, you know, plan an educational event for your team was the first idea. Plan a holiday event was your third, second idea. And then most importantly, let's use this time to really focus in on gratitude for our existing guests that we have. I love to use open time that we have to reach out and say thank you to the guests that we probably haven't seen. We all know how it feels to get super busy in the treatment room, super busy behind the chair. And what often happens is we forget about the clients that used to come to us regularly that no longer could be able to get into our schedule. So downtime is a perfect opportunity to be proactive on reaching out to those guests, sending them a we miss you, thank you for your service with us, and a callback action to get them in. 
what better way to invite them to that special holiday event so they can be the excitement of the new services and retail promotions that you're going to be offering. It's a great way to strongly focus in on how we can be proactive during our downtime instead of being reactive and making sure that we go into the holiday season feeling prepared, ready for success, and gratitude for a busy salon company that we can share our experience with. So thank you for spending this minute with me. The next minute is yours.